Adventure Time Fiona and Cake is over. But what happened to Jake? Adventure Time Fiona and Cake gave us everything you could ask for in a sequel. Long running mysteries that finally got their answers, a deep dive into Simon after the original series, and a beautifully written multiverse story that expands on what came before. Still, questions remain. Where's Jake? Will the franchise ever give us a definitive answer? Turns out we know a lot more than you might think. But before that, pst, have you heard the whispers of the legend? The Raid Show. Shadow Legends? It's a free mobile fantasy RPG with hundreds of collectible champions to sense to battle. Some of these character designs go hard. Now the people at Raid want me to do Kiss, Marry, Kill by choosing from the 750 plus champions, so fine, I'll play their little game. Gonna kiss Deliana because I feel like she'd kill me if I ignore her. Marry Arbiter because look at her spin! Kill Thanassel because he's giving me the evil eye. Wait, what's this? Something's in the news! There's a legendary champion available. Not him. Sun Wukong is here, and you just need to log into the game on seven different days between now and October 23rd. There's a ton of new stuff going down in Raid, so if you want to play, use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get some wild bonuses. Epic Champion Drake, and other useful stuff like XP boosters. Join me on the battlefield and maybe even my clan. My username is Vale. Give him YT. At some point in the Adventure Time timeline before Finn gets old, Jake the dog is Jake the dead. That's a fact. What we don't know is exactly when or how he kicked the bucket. Now in the new Fiona and Cake series, there's only one major appearance from the guy. The third episode shows Prismo, who's watching our heroes on an adventure with an egg. Notice that Finn has a Jake memorial tattoo, but Jake's next to him alive? Huh? This could be like a flashback or alternate universe or something, but in this moment, Jake is alive. However, that's not necessarily true when Fiona and Cake takes place 12 years after the original series. When asked about the dog's fate, showrunner Adam Muto revealed why they chose to keep the mystery unsolved. I did want to ask about that. Maybe you're keeping this close to your chest, but is Jake dead? And if so, do you know how he died? Do you know what happened? I mean, if there's a really simple answer to that, I don't think it would be satisfying. We've shown Finn and Jake at the end of their lives. How it resolved. That's the more important ending to me. You've shown them dead, basically. We don't really show how Finn dies either. The how of it isn't necessarily as interesting to me to show on screen, because that's kind of a downer. So, we left it ambiguous. It wasn't important for the series. So while Fiona and Cake doesn't give us a definitive answer for how and when Jake died, I think by the time of this series, he's gone. As evidence, let's talk about episode 2, Simon Petrikov. Finn looks the oldest he's ever been. He's rocking a brand new outfit, longer hair, and a different mechanical arm. But it's not in the way he looks that tells us Jake is dead, it's the way he acts. First of all, he's chilling with TV. Back in Obsidian, he was with Bronwyn. Hey PB! It would make sense why Finn is hanging out with Jake's kids so much, because Jake himself is dead. Not only that, but the way Finn tries to solve Simon's existential dread is a reflection of himself. Finn tries strategies that helped him in the past, like wearing a blindfold from the Hall of Egress. He also says that going on adventures and staying busy is the way to feel better, to have some kind of purpose. Yeah, Finn. Just keep him busy and everything will be fine. Instead of confronting Simon's actual problems, Finn chooses blissful ignorance. Talking about sad stuff gets you nowhere. Forget about it. Instead of confronting his own grief with Jake's death, he also chooses to ignore that. In Together Again, we also learn that after Jake passed, Finn couldn't properly move on. Aw, oh, come on. You still had plenty of other things to live for, right? Yeah, but deep down, I just kept waiting for the day I'd finally see you again. 
So while he does seem pretty happy in this episode, the clues are there. I think he's just using unhealthy methods to cope with the loss of his best friend. In that context, maybe Jake died relatively recently, like a few years before this. Either way though, Adventure Time doesn't need to answer every little question we have, and sometimes it's fun to theorize instead. Maybe we'll find out the truth someday, maybe not. Oh yeah, and don't forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description, or scan my QR code. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.